Hey everyone, I'm Vitika. I'm the product designer for the Verify CI Siege Group. And today I would be walking you all through some design explorations that I have done for the Merge String Visualization exercise that was started some time back. So this is the issue where this all began, and this is a design-only issue. That means uh, we are not having any implementation-related discussions here. So we are still trying to uh, understand how what this would look like, and then we we would get to the part where we, where we would divide this into uh, iterations and decide which one should be, should be the uh, MVC and so on. All right, so in this issue, we started off with a problem, and it says that uh, merge string is a very abstract concept, and uh, users would definitely uh, like to see it visualized in some form. And uh, so this led to a lot of discussion here with the backend engineers within the team, uh, and I asked a lot of questions, and I'm so thankful for that uh, everybody answered my questions so patiently. Um, all right, so putting all that information into something concrete. So this here is what I have started. Uh, I know it had started off with just a, uh, I mean, a proposal that only talked about having a visualization for the train, but somewhere uh, in the discussion, it kind of evolved into, like the requirement evolved, and there was this uh, issue that was brought into light, which was around merge train index statistics and summary page. And I tried to evaluate, like, what is it that would provide the maximum value to user? Like, what uh, do we have enough information that we have to show to the user that uh, we would need a dedicated page? Uh, and after asking very difficult questions, um, I kind of felt that, yes, there are a lot of information that uh, link to merge trains. And why not explore uh, this? idea of dedicating a page uh, just to merge trains and all the activities and information related to them. All right. So in this page, as you can see, uh, what I've done is uh, the pattern is very similar to how we have the pipeline overview page. So for example, there's a, there's a graph on the top which talks about, which is, which is, which provides a very visual um, representation of what's happening in the train. So the kind of information that I, uh, got my hands on with the help of the engineers was that at one point of time, we could have a maximum of 20 merge train pipelines running. So that's what I'm calling the active merge train here. And uh, the number of merge requests that get added to the train uh, beyond 20, they just get queued up. So uh, after like uh, reading through all the comments, I figured that there are two very crucial pieces of information that users would want to see besides uh, what's going on with the active merge train. And those are the history of the train. That means what are the like previous merge requests that have been merged as a part of the train. And then a list of all the queued merge requests, like beyond this 20 items, what else do I have here, which is waiting to get uh, added to the train? All right, so here is a representation of what the train history would look like. Just ignore that duplication of information. It's just for the ease of creating a quick UI. Uh, I've just kind of copied and pasted the rows. But this is how uh, it could look like. The kind of information we have we could show here is the status of the pipeline, which is the status of the most train pipeline, then uh, a little information about the most train pipeline itself, like the ID, if users want to just go click on those IDs and get a... a deeper uh, view of what's, what's happening in there with the jobs. Then the merge request that this links to and how much, uh, like, this sh this should ideally be uh, the time when it was merged. So I know that there, there's a little discrepancy with uh, the kind of terminologies that I'm using, but I would definitely take the help of our technical writers to deal with this. Okay, so this is the first uh, page, what it could look like. Now let's talk about like what happens if users click on the second tab that I provided here, which says queued merge requests. So again, I, I was kind of struggling with what kind of information uh, could it provide here. And I figured that even though it's kind of implied that there's a list uh, and it should be in order, but position is still important because this list could be really long. And when I'm scrolling, and I'm looking at a particular uh, merge request, it would be very difficult for me to understand like what's the position, what's the exact position of this. And then this queue duration kind of gives user, it would give users an idea about how much time do they need to wait for this to get merged. And if they're not 
happy with that if they are not fine with uh, this being uh, there waiting for such a long time if they fear that um, i mean it, it doesn't fit with the urgency that they have for merging that particular mr what they could do from here is they could either remove this from the train and get back to this merge request and deal with this separately or from here itself i'm uh, adding this option to merge immediately okay so these were the tabs and the uh, basic information that's going to be placed here uh, i'll quickly also touch upon this that i'm pro trying to uh, like give a reference of the time in this uh, graph in here so uh, this axis would talk about how much how much uh, how many minutes uh, would it take like approximately take for the particular the lined up mrs to get merged and it's it's not finished but that was the idea all right now talking about the interactions uh for for the mrs which are lined up for in the active merge stream which means that for the mrs for which there are merge stream pipelines running uh there are certain pieces of information that make that that's very relevant for users and those are like what's the uh, for like a way to better identify the merge request that's uh, linked with this so just the id would not give, give them a pretty good idea so maybe just uh, put a portion of uh, of the title of the merge request and this could definitely be improved uh, as we can see it's it's kind of truncated and it's still a uh, very partial information but uh, this can be improved upon then the next information that would make sense for them is uh, who added the merge request to the train and then was the start of the pipeline and who the pipeline was like uh, who triggered the pipeline then uh, when was this uh, started like when was this uh, put uh, in the train and when is it expected to merge uh, apart from that another interaction that i uh, thought would make a lot of sense is like if if i have something in the train itself um here i showed that in the second position but let's say if it's in ninth or 10th position and i still uh, I, i couldn't afford to wait as a user i couldn't afford to wait even for those uh, few minutes and this is very urgent it, it's a very urgent update that i have to make uh, so from here itself uh, there'll be two options available merge or remove uh, merge immediately or remove from the train and uh, what i'm expecting is like in the workflow wise when one clicks on merge immediately um there should either be some sort of uh, uh like some confirmation that they have to go through or maybe uh, a treatment for this button that conveys the urgency which it doesn't do right now uh, yeah this is the very first pass sorry and one um i was just playing through with this thinking about the possibilities like what this graph could become in the future what this visualization could become in the future like what are interactions that we couldn't think of at this point of time uh, could be enabled uh, from the graph itself so maybe uh, just maybe that we can provide this drag and uh, adjust interaction here for example the liberty to change the sequence like uh change the priority of the train and uh one thing that would be linked to this feature would be like only providing this access to a particular role like like restricting uh the access to this feature because otherwise i can understand that this could get really messy so maybe only maintainers can uh reprioritize train and so on Yeah so that was it and this is all still work in progress but um I am a fan of getting feedback early so let me know what you think and you would definitely find these designs in a few minutes on the main issue as well all right thank you